Next, an editorial reflecting the views of the United States government. Iranian security forces reportedly attacked the Hamza Mosque in Awa City in southwestern Khuzestan province. At least 50, and possibly as many as 300 members of Iran's Awaz Arab community were detained, according to human rights monitors. Amnesty International says it has reports that a number of people were injured when security forces opened fire on the crowd. Fakhteh Zamani is director of the Association for the Defense of Azerbaijani Political Prisoners in Iran. She says her organization was contacted by Awaz Arabs concerned about the whereabouts of those detained. Those arrested and injured have been taken to an unknown location and their family members have as yet received no information as to their uh, whereabouts or well-being. We fear that uh, they could be tortured or uh, otherwise ill-treated in detention. Also injured are not taken to any hospitals. At the time of the Hamza Mosque attack, Awaz Arabs were conducting a memorial service for Mehdi Haidari. Mr. Haidari was shot while attempting to evade arrest, reportedly for his political activities. An estimated 2 million to 4 million Awaz Arabs live in Iran's oil-rich Khuzestan province. According to the U.S. State Department, they reportedly suffer persecution and discrimination at the hands of Iranian authorities. Awaz and human rights groups allege torture and ill-treatment of Awaz Arab activists, including detention of the spouses and young children of activists. Fakta Zamani says lawyers, such as Azeri Iranian human rights defender Saleh Kamarni, who tried to help Awaz Arab activists, also risked detention. Usually they don't have access to lawyers, and when any lawyers uh, contact to represent them, the lawyers are threatened or imprisoned. For example, Saleh Kamrani was trying to represent a couple of writers and Ahwazi uh, intellectuals, and he was imprisoned and questioned about his uh, clients. In a proclamation commemorating Human Rights Day, President George W. Bush said the U.S. continues to stand with those who work to build democracy and secure the blessings of liberty. The day will come, said Mr. Bush, that citizens of other lands, such as North Korea, Iran, Zimbabwe, and Sudan, will no longer be restricted from practicing their faith, voicing their opinions, and enjoying the many blessings of freedom. That was an editorial reflecting the views of the United States government.